South Korea says it will not be allowing foreign nationals to enter the country if they've recently been to China's Hubei province, where the coronavirus first broke out. This is the first time that South Korea has taken that step, but it joins many other countries that have. Shin Se-min with the details. In the rapidly evolving public health emergency, the South Korean government says any foreign national who's recently been to Wuhan, China, or the surrounding region will be banned from coming into South Korea starting Tuesday the 4th. South Korea will be restricting entry from critical regions in China, the epicenter of the spread of the novel coronavirus. Starting from midnight, February 4th, all foreign nationals who have visited China's Hubei province within the past 14 days will be banned from entering South Korea. As for Korean nationals, the prime minister added that anyone with a similar travel history must impose a self-quarantine of 14 days. And the same goes for anyone who is in close or regular contact with those who've visited the Chinese province. Those who work in group facilities like postnatal care centers or nurseries and have traveled to the region will not be allowed to go to work for two weeks. The government will also be suspending its visa-free travel program for Jeju Island. South Korea, together with the Jeju provincial government, had implemented a visa-free system allowing almost all foreigners to stay on Korea's southernmost island of Jeju for up to 30 days without a visa. South Korea, with a new entry ban, joins a growing list of nations like the U.S. and Japan that have imposed travel restrictions because of the coronavirus outbreak. We must block transmission routes in local communities even more tightly. The government will preemptively prepare for mid- to long-term responses to ready itself for possible worst-case scenarios. As for the shortage of hygiene products like face masks and hand sanitizer, leading to unprecedented price hikes, the PM ordered the Food and Drug Safety Ministry and the related authorities to reassure the public that supplies are on their way. Separately, President Moon Jae-in also spent Sunday afternoon with experts on infectious diseases, coming up with ways to counter the growing threat of the coronavirus. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.